Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the Nerd Onslaught bringing you your daily nerd on. Well, not quite daily, but I like to sneak it in on a few rare occasions like today because today is a Thursday and I normally don't put out videos on a Thursday, but I decided I'd give you guys something special this week like we discussed on Tuesday to make up for the fact that I didn't get Axiom Verge out on Monday and that is... You know, on top of our loot anime opening we did Tuesday, as you can see, it's where I got this lovely shirt from. I got November's Indie Box! Hey! So, pretty excited for this. We just barely got the October one, because the October one took a longer to get set out, because those guys got so bombarded. They had to, like, move offices. They had to do all this stuff. And, of course, I'm living in Canada up here in the cold, being like, yo, where my box at? And it eventually got here. So we're gonna open up this one now today, and I need to I need to take a quick look at this. I know normally I show you guys the inside first. I'm gonna take a look. Oh no, it may be in a different spot. Okay, so this may be okay. They did just change this, so I just want to make sure. Okay, so maybe inside. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead, and this is the main thing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the box. So this is this month's game, November's game, which is Freedom Planet, which from what I've heard is a lot like Sonic the Hedgehog. So you guys fully understand, I am beyond flipping ecstatic to play this. Like, it's at the point where I kinda wanna drop everything and just do this right now. The, the, the flipping light, but. Freedom Planet, look at them alien girls on the front. Look at them. Dun, 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 dun. Boobies! Okay, sorry. Sorry, this game is probably rated like E for everyone, and I'm just pointing out boobs. And I apologize. But, also, there's the Indie Box Challenge, which I'm going to tr Maybe we'll try to do. Maybe. But. I'm going to, oh, it's gonna be a bit difficult. I'll do it like this. So under my fist, and I know this is difficult to see, but I had somebody who commented on my video last time, um, just saying that he was wondering where the steam key was so you didn't have to open your box. They've changed it up a bit. It's on the inside of this box. Ooh, ooh, I'm so bad at this, I'm so sorry guys. But there it is. It's under my finger is where the steam key is. So I'm going to open the box, of course, because it's an unboxing video. I'm not going to go, whoo, there's a box and there's a key. Bye. But so, you no, know, he was trying, this person was trying to find it, couldn't find it, opened their box. And then, of course, that made them sad. And then they felt even worse when I did mention it a few minutes later when I was already like kind of midway through the opening of where you could find it if you didn't want to. And that made him, of course, more sad because I know a lot of people just like getting these to just have a collector's box. And they know that too. And that's why they put that Steam key inside so that you don't have to. And you know what, guys? I don't want you opening your box. Guess what? That's my job. I'm going to do it. I'm going to open the box. I'm going to bask in the goodies. And if you decide that the goodies are so good you want to open your box, then you can. If you see the goodies and you're like, well, I know what's inside now. I don't need to look. I've done my job. So... Thank you, box. You've done your job. There's nothing in there, so we're good. So, there is in this one, there is the uh, Indie Box Challenge. So we're going to see how I play that first before I even open the box. So, love to go fast. This month, Galaxy Trail and Indie Box have teamed up to give you the chance to show off just how fast you can go. Race against the clock as you compete to be the Freedom, Freedom Planet Speedrun Champion. One winner will receive a custom Freedom Planet trophy from IndieBox. Ooh, so play. You have to complete the Battle Glacier Stage 8 as Lilac. Play by yourself or stream it online. Just make sure you're having fun. Freedom Planet will register your fastest time or when you're ready to submit. So you can submit on Twitter. So you have to record a video. In order to qualify, you need to navigate through Character Select. Select Stage and clearly display your time. Tweet your submissions to at the IndieBox. So, and then there's bracket for zero minutes, zero seconds, zero, zero milliseconds, hashtag indie box challenge. So, of course, you have to be 13 years or older. Don't be playing if you're little. 
Actually, it's more you have to be 13 to enter contests. I'm pretty sure the game is perfectly fine to play. Um, deadline for the submissions is December the 6th. I don't even get a chance to compete. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't even get to compete. Oh. Indie box. It's all right. I understand. I'm in Canada. So, we are not going to go ahead. We are going to open this box. Remember, folks, if you do not want to open your box, it is inside on the bottom of the box. Not this box, the other box. The box that I threw, which is now the box that is behind me. And the box that is behind me is green, and it's from Indie Box. And it's there, it's exciting, it's green, and it doesn't do much but hold your game. So, plastic wrap is off. Box is being opened. And we're just gonna reach inside and just grab something and pull it out. It's the first thing. Ooh. There's a baggie that says, ooh, it's a Freedom Planet Kingdom Stone. Ooh, shiny. Eh. 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 <laughs> so, oh, snap. Actually, that's pretty cool. So here is my Freedom Stone. It's really hard to see, especially if I don't even hold it on the flipping camera. Yeah, that's... So it's you can't really see, not only because of the computer glare, but the light's a little off. But there's actually like a red tint. There are like a couple designs on it. They look more like scratches, if anything, but you know, there's probably a reason why. So we're gonna slip that back in. Ugh. And we'll just put this on the side. Don't be too loud. Oh, we're good. All right, looks like I can't just reach. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, there are um, these things. I don't know, monocles. Is it like, okay, okay, it's supposed to hold something. It's supposed to, I got this. Okay, wait. I know, I know what this is truly for. Ah, yes. Don't think I can hold this in the entire time. It's taking a lot of my effort, but hey. We'll try. Until I see what it's supposed to hold. So there's a booklet for bringing back the box so this is the newsletter so we're gonna keep that in oh my god i never want to wear a monocle again in my life what is this okay good 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 so this is kind of all over the place this is the usb with the game on it so if you open in the box like me you don't need to use a steam code the game is in there it's a little usb you plug it in yeah well you don't really download it you just move it on your computer and it's there Okay, what is next? What is next? We've got our Freedom Planet themed Indie Box sticker, which can actually draw my other one. I think I still, ooh, it's right there. <laughs> That's right, I still have all my goodies from the last one, just kind of kicking around. I've, now I need to like pick a time where I'm not busy and try and actually go like through and like designate where I want everything in here. It's just not happening right now. Ah oh, yes, so here's the instruction manual for all of you box lover games. It comes with the instruction manual which tells you everything you need to know and thankfully you can play with a controller. All right. Yeah, I have a good feeling about this game. I have a really good feeling. Why? Because it's like old Sonic and I love old Sonic. Okay, what else is in here? What is this? Ooh, this is the game soundtrack. Look for it. Disc three. Ah, gosh darn it. Wow, there's so much music in this. There's three discs for the soundtrack. Also guys, I can't do it any longer. Oh, oh that feels better. I feel so much better. Yeah, there's three discs of music, so. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I know there's gotta be something in here. There's gotta be something in here that that thing is meant for. So here is a, just a Freedom Planet sticker. Look at the cute little girls on the front. Oh, Jafar! Oh, 
That's about all I can do for him. Uh, that, that's, the, that's the extent of Gilbert Godfrey that I am. <gasps> I found what's supposed to go in there. Ooh. Wow, this is actually weighted pretty good. So this is a Freedom Planet coin. Some foxy dude on the front. What does it actually say? Oh, it's Mayor Zhao, apparently. And then this just says Freedom Planet and plus five. So I'm guessing it is a $5 coin in Freedom Planet currency. Now, where did I drop the thing? I know it just dropped from my eyeball. Okay, I'm going to stick it on top of the game because obviously they gave it a little case for a reason. And the last thing in the... Ooh, it's a wallet, guys. They gave you a wallet. Feels like it's one of those, like, Velcro ones. That's cool. Head, open it up. Show you guys the outside. As you can see, Freedom Planet wallet. Actually, the inside's not too bad. You know, for one of these type of wallets, you get your change, of course, license, some card slots there, of course, under there and under here, as well as a, that's just the license, money, and then more like loose thing. Actually, this isn't that bad. Like, I really like the wallet I got, and this is already like, it's kind of like thick here. So, but actually, this is this is a really cool wallet. I may actually use this. I'm not even I'm not even joking, because really, the whole reason why. I got the wallet I got now is because of the MasterCard I have, you can tap, but I'm gonna put that MasterCard on ice because I need to pick one credit card and use it. And the reason why I got the MasterCard, I ain't using it anymore. So I may switch over to this just because, well, that's that Velcro and cute little girl in front. Now watch, it's gonna be, people are gonna be like, you're such a creep. And I'm gonna be like, Okay, let's go through here. They should have everything that was in the box. Here we go. So I know last time I kind of like lifted up everything individually. I'm probably just gonna run through it again, give you guys a little breakdown, we're gonna end it, and then we'll end it there. Okay, so there's the collector's edition box. So of course, a lot of people just like having this collector's edition box and not going in it. And hey, I don't blame you. Like I said, it's my job to open my box and you guys can see what's inside of it. Fair deal? I think so. And then we got their USB cartridge. Of course, we got the instruction manual. We got the indie box sticker, the soundtrack, which, okay, guys, three flipping discs. And it looks like disc three by itself has 23 tracks. Like, disc one has 26, and disc two has 25. So that's 51, 20 want 72 tracks of music like i love big ass soundtracks like this like the kingdom hearts one two soundtracks are my favorite and if you get like the japanese ones they are so long like i think the kingdom hearts 2 is like over 100 tracks of music on it and i just love it so much so then we're going to go down we got the kingdom stone and the leather pouch okay so that's the stone that you're protecting in the game so we get one we real like to protect and then we got a Velcro a wallet, which of course is excitable for the 13 year old, but there's a good chance I'm gonna use it just cause I like the look of it actually a lot. There's a Freedom Planet sticker, of course, the Mayor Zhao coin and the newsletter because you want that descriptions inside. So if you guys are excited, like I said, I will be doing a let's play of all of the indie box games that I get. I know we still need to finish up Axiom Verge, I'm either going to try and finish it, but at the same time, I don't want to rush it because I'm actually like, I'm enjoying it, which I didn't know if I was. And that's only because I've never played like, um, like a Metroidvania style game before, but I'm actually enjoying it a lot. So I don't want to rush it, but I also really want to play this because I don't want it to be, um, that I'm always behind. I'll definitely have more time between this indie box and the next one just because like I said the October one got sent really late and then they sent the November one on time so you know there's that um, but we're definitely gonna go ahead and we're gonna play that game so I don't know I may do one week where I'll do two Axiom Verge one Freedom Planet and then two Freedom Planet one Axiom Verge and maybe we'll yeah yeah maybe we'll do it like that sounds good I'll double think about that. So, um, 
yeah, that's it. The only other thing that I need to say is that there will probably be an update video coming out later today. Um, it's just kind of about scheduling for the rest of the month, just to give you guys a heads up. Do that. I'll put it on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. But this is the Nerd Onslaught signing off for today. Remember to rock out with your nerd out. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.